Ya ne? I think Mashallah. I, sh- I think I should. Mashallah. I should finish. Wow, that really sounds weird coming from your mouth. Come from my, come from my, uh, mashallah. What's mashallah? Mashallah. 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 Mm. I think something like that. Yeah, something like that. Mashallah. Suddenly, a line or two comes to me that sort of puts the whole story in perspective because I know I just get five minutes to make a point. The whole segment. We're extending it in the new year. And then I have 20 seconds mm. to make you want to watch the segment. And, you know, my, my, my subconscious is doing all the hard work. I'm researching, right? I'm doing my shit. And I could wake up in the morning with a wicked line to cope with it. Like, yes. Or in the middle of the night. <laughs> or I could be, you know, taking a shower or something. Like, yes, that sounds like it. Then I quickly type it before I forget or something. Or I could say it over and over again so I don't forget if, if I'm not writing it down. And... Because I know that I have a responsibility to the people to make absolute sense in such short period of time. It's a, it's in 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 a way that no matter how you flip it, whether you're for or against the story, you will be able to mirror, you'll be able to see yourself in, in, in that conversation. You may agree, you may disagree, but somewhere in your heart will tell you that there's a bit of me in there. Not that I'm trying to please you because the truth is fundamental in all of us. You can either pay attention or not. Something that's so internal and a personal process for you could actually mean so much for a large because Because the truth is fundamental in all of us. It's just you paid attention or not, mm-hmm. it's there. And sometimes if if the world is lucky, it pricks you a little bit. Yeah, I know, but whatever. <laughs> and you turn yourself around and, and that's the interesting part. Making making this show, it's funny because Indeed, we spend, you know, a, a sizable chunk of that episode talking about, like, it's it's so Eurocentric, it's so Western-centric, US-centric, the media, um, and, you know, wanting to, to critique that. But then when I'm looking for, uh, you know, found footage and kind of clips, you end up with a lot of US sources. It's just that... That's the, what you find first. That's what you find first. If you're, if, you're, if you're searching out there, also, if you're operating in English language, this is an English language show... Those are the kind of things that are going to come up in your search and you will have to make that extra effort. Journalism is at the mercy of the mediums that it disseminates through. Journalism seems to be a term that doesn't necessarily have any specific meaning. Like it, it's it does have a meaning. It's it's it's, no, it, it has like, meaning. I wonder. It's, it's very fluid. Plum, what what a it's... journalist is is very fluid. It's not... As I wonder said, how the 21st century. You know, the media <laughs> really kind of decides who is a journalist and who isn't. Well, is it a, is it a really thing where you can? All. Is it something where you can self-proclaim? Look, the, this this freaking definition by Wikipedia just makes. <laughs> Well, yeah, Wikipedia no, will be your definition. It's, no, it's I want a fluid <laughs> idea. Like, Damn. That's the thing. It's, is this all we have? I mean, there's. I there's, can't even read it out. Because journalism is. Actually, it's not if really going funny. by this definition, that uh-huh. every dumb fucking dick and Harry in the 21st century is a journalist. Exactly. It, it, that's the thing. But I wonder it's, how you feel about that as someone who has been to oh, journalism. I felt it. Yeah, journalism school, right? And well, obviously there's not no such thing in journalism where you need to get a doctorate to be able to say you're a journalist. People oh proclaim they're a journalist. People, <laughs> people, uh, people call themselves, you know, people call oh. other people journalists and uh, they say like, well, I'm not a journalist. But I wonder how it feels for you, like seeing people, you know, be on Twitter. I just have superiority complex, that's all. <laughs> because, no, oh, I'm serious. But you're just a narcissist, that's yeah. it. That's no, it. when no, you I just to... like, excuse me, what's good did you go to? Excuse me, what's good you go to? Shut up, you're not a journalist. Uh, I mean, no, whether, but... it, whether you build up a skill set, you know, or credentials through school or through the hard work of doing the job, mm-hmm. I mean, you do need to get certain credentials in a certain way, that the, through experience, through schooling. That... Yeah, and I did like five, six, seven years of work before I even went for my master's in Colombia. So yeah. they, they, didn't even, they wouldn't even take me, well, without that. But for for you, are there times when you look around you and you're like, oh, they're calling of themselves course. journalists and like, no, this you're not. And year. what makes it that someone is to you a journalist? Oh, God. My head is woozy now. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, there was a time this year, early this year, when everybody started streaming. 
Mm. You know, there was a sh- well. You're at home. What else to do? Like, oh, I found another word. Ganesh, I'm hearing. <laughs> You know, along with the pandemic, it was a streaming demic. I opened Instagram, everybody was a presenter. <laughs> everybody was a reporter. I was like, what's going on in the world? That job is meant for few people. Yeah, well, we let um, UGC, user generated content, mm. like, we, we can share this, be like, no, no. And I literally sat down and said, oh my God, my profession is now being divested. Like, it's like icing mm. on the cake for her. If you are see a doctor growing live, it's teaching all these corona things. And I'm like... Straight to the source. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be out of Vogue very soon. I better start. What can I learn out of making... And instead you got your own show. So <laughs> I was like, not out of Vogue. Carpentry, plumbing. Um, <laughs> I need a new specialization. Um, no, it was worrisome early this year because, but you see, I think what then sets us apart is the consistency of our purpose. Like it's not a, in it's not a, it's not a one-time opportunity when it feels good kind of thing for us whether there's a pandemic or there's no pandemic as long as there's a story a journalist will pick up a pen and go investigate it and go put in your boot and go and find the story um this year i was worried that you know i became a desktop reporter because that's how most of us had to survive this year. Uh, even in the newsroom, there's always the joke, kind of back talking, and in the, in the profession generally that um, you're not there until you're there. So everyone wants to get down and find the story. You want to follow the story. There's even a whole mantra for some stations. Mm. Seeing it was a scene and go there because. That's a huge part of what it means to be a journalist, to engage the different emotions, find the people, and accurately piece the different information that is moving around together. I think a journalist going forward will be the person who helps you to distill. Because all this dangling information that is being thrown at us because that's the problem of this generation now so much information it helps you to make sense of it and i remember i don't know if it's somewhere in your Mm -hmm. episode when i said that it would no longer be enough to tell the world what happened where it happened uh so our three w's uh you know what where why and how So what, where aren't as important anymore because of phones and social media? A good journalist will be able to, because you've been collecting, you've been collecting facts over the years by different sides of this story or even more. You're now, your ability to cognitively bring the stories together and explain without leaving almost any fact out and presenting the whole story is what would set you apart as a journalist. And it feels like I'm giving out all of the tip, but it's it's something that you don't just, because you can wake up in the morning and sit on a camera and start blah, 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 blah. Um, God bless you. Um, but I still, as a journalist, still, still listen, sit down and listen to you and listen to the other sides and listen to other angles and try to be objective, even though that's elusive, and try. And, and paint the whole picture. So even if you watch CNN or you watch Fox, as a journalist, I've presented both sides of the story to you. And I'm hoping that after distilling all that information, I, I'm hoping that you will take it as, you know, whatever level of reasoning you are uh, on as a person, as an intellectual, 
you'll be able to make constructive decision from it. So there are people just saying all kinds of stuff from all different sides. It doesn't make them reporters. It doesn't make them journalists, you know? I think I've fallen into that trap myself as a consumer. Yeah. Thinking that I read a piece. I'm, I mean, maybe it's the, the um, you know, the idea that reading is that I equated with kind of, you know, research and uh, scholarship that was easier for me to think like, oh, a lot of research or investigation went into this. Um, instead of, yeah, thinking that, oh, someone could be researching this themselves or they could just be reading an auto cue, right? Uh, when they're Look on TV. at what you've done. But Even with the editing and trying to put the thoughts together, so how much It takes much so much work. And I think that's one thing that I've realized in the process as well is that the the journalists who maybe deserve it the most don't get really get the recognition. I think no. the people do not know how much work it goes, goes into... into uh, you know, researching, investigating stories. It can take years to investigate a story to, on the before it comes piece. out yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you will investigate something and it will never really come out there because of certain, um, you know, protecting your sources mm -hmm. or whatever, protecting yourself maybe mm -hmm. at times, mm -hmm. uh, the stories that matter the most. And I think it, it has, you know, maybe I've in this whole process of making the this series, I've come to respect media a little less, but I've definitely come to respect certain journalists mm. more. And I think that, you know, it, it's other people getting the, the cloud on Twitter, on social media, For the work to, to kind of have. digesting, distilling the story in a few sentences, or it's people, you know, on the late night talk shows that are putting it in a more entertainment comedic fashion and still I mean it's good getting that information across in a comedic manner that's that's great uh but where is where's the journalist where's the reporter that did the work that goes behind the stories are they really getting the recognition they deserve and I think that for me the conclusion is like often they don't I I do know that I struggle personally to say when a story of mine gets reshared or talked about a lot you know and then people hype and say good stuff about it uh the biggest story as far as i'm concerned from africa this year which is the end size mm -hmm. story and for the first time on my instagram i was just saying oh you like in 20 minutes, it got a thousand views. And then another, like, less than an hour, it got like 5,000 views. And then I was like, okay, all right. You know, I've, in the, almost 7,000 views and people watching from all over, you know. And I was like, hmm, okay, all right. And, but there's just one story that resonates. This also shows perhaps the kind of, the, the way the story touched people because it, it then went from Nigeria to like across the world and people were showing solidarity and people wanted reporters who understood the story could articulate it. No, I was not even in Nigeria when it happened, but I know the story so well. So when I was analyzing it, 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 it struck something in it, anyone who listened to it. It was factual, it was analytical, it was straight to the point. Mm -hmm. But again, it was just, one more day out of like every other day and they say you're like you are as good as your last job so you want to come you do you do you do the best you never know which one will hit but your job is not to make a hit it would be good for you to hit all the time your job is to continue to be consistent and continue to do to do sort of like the right thing 